Hey everybody, this is Brad at Pisces Pet Emporium here. We're gonna go over the new Exoterra Frog Tank here. Uh, this comes in 18, 18, 18, and in 18, 18, 24. Today we're gonna be covering the 18, 18, 18, and let's get right into this. I walk from Pisces, we sell animals. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna be talking about today is the new door that they've actually released with this. First thing and foremost that I'm really excited about that it's not a double door, it's actually one single door now. Um, the other thing that I'm really excited about is that they now have a push lock. So you push that in, pull this out, it opens, close this, knock it back down, and it's locked. The reason I like this so much are those old twist locks used to get old and worn out and they'd be really hard to twist them open and close. This right here makes it much, much, much easier and actually prolongs the life of the tank. The other reason I like these new tanks is that it is the one giant door. Um, used to, right in the middle, it used to actually leach a lot of that humidity out. Now we have a pretty flush door here. And overall, this is gonna be a much better uh, idea to keep in your humidity, especially for frogs. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna be talking about today is their new lid. Now, the one thing that I'm really excited about with this new lid is that it's about two thirds mesh and one third glass. Again, really helping out with that humidity issue that we are usually having with the full top open mesh. Especially for dark frogs, a lot of us would have to cut custom pieces of glass to fit over top of the mesh to help keep in that humidity. Um, the other thing that I'm really excited about is it lifts. Again, no more twist locks that when they get old are gonna snap or break or overall are gonna be really tight to move as they age. Um, this just simply lifts up and down and locks in place. Uh, the other thing that I really wanna talk about today too is right back here in the vent areas. Um, when they first came out, again, there were these plastic sliding notches. Now it's these really nice rubber grommets. The nice thing about these as well is this can actually get hooked up to your misting system. Um, right here, there are little crevices for the water um, to go in and out with air, uh, airline tubing as well as these grommets act as drilled holes for things like mist kings and monsoons. Um, the other thing that I'm really excited about with this lid as well um, is that overall it's a sleek looking design that's flush, allowing for the possibilities to stack tanks as well. Um, this is a very, very nice upgrade that Exoterra has done with their lids and I'm very excited about it. The other thing that's really nice about these new tanks is that they've actually added a drainage bulkhead in here now. No more days are we going in with fish siphons to suck out extra moisture in our vivariums now. The nice thing about this is that it also comes with a ball valve and some extra tubing. So you just connect the tubing to come out and down with a ball valve on the end. You then open up that ball valve and it'll drain the entire tank. This is going to be really nice in case your water feature malfunctions, uh, your mister malfunctions, or really if any sort of excess water gets in here, it's now an easy fix instead of using an old fish tank siphon. Overall, out of all of the new ads to the terrariums, I think this one here is going to catch most people's eye as the most useful. Myself, I'm a fan of the door. The door is what I'm most excited about with the new lock um, and it being much larger. But this bulkhead right here, I think is gonna make a lot of you guys really happy and excited for mostly of your dark frog keepers. Now, the one thing that I do wanna quickly touch on is that the height on here isn't the greatest in the world. Um, this is really only going to be for uh, a small layer of bio balls and then your layer of substrate for your plants. Um, this is why they recently came out with a new product called their Frog Ponds. So I just mentioned the Frog Pond and this is their new Frog Pond here. So it's a shallow rock pond that allows your frogs to get in and out without the possibilities of drowning. 
If you're a dark frog keeper, you know these guys are as dumb as the dirt that's in the tank. So for the most part, these guys will tend to get in and have troubles getting out. But because of this shape and the multiple levels of rock, they're able to jump in and out without any issues. This will also help keep up the humidity in the tank overall. Now, everybody thinks you're gonna be using tap water. I actually do not recommend tap water because it contains chlorine. Well, a lot of fish dechlorinators also have aloe vera in them. Aloe vera is a slight irritant to a lot of amphibians. So, we here at Pisces have come out with our own water conditioner that is aloe free, which is completely safe for all reptiles and amphibians. So if there are any more questions about any of these new products that we got in, our new Exoterritorarium, our new Frog Pod, and our new uh, Peters branded amphibian and reptile water conditioner, you guys can always come in here at Pisces Pet Emporium and have a chat with either myself, Brad, Kyle, or Landon. Now, if you like these videos, we here at Pisces Pet Emporium will be very, very happy if you were to just drop us a like and a subscription there. And if you want to see more videos about reptiles featuring me, just let us know in the comments section or come on in and have a chat with me in person. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.